Hello and welcome to A Ray of Sunshine, an A6 card with me, Emma Jo. So I've got an A6 piece of water, multifarious card here um, and I've popped some Elements Ink Sundance in the centre using a size 9 stencil brush and I'm just surrounding that with some Elements Ink green sleeves, blending it in beautifully. <laughs> well, having a jolly good go. Building up that colour in the bottom, as you can see. Okay, and taking the Flower Fairy stamp, I have inked it up in Versafine Claire Nocturne, and I'm just placing her so she looks like she's peering out the edge of that page. I'm just following on that stem by reversing the stamp, again in Versafine Claire Nocturne, and you can see she suddenly looks like she's on a longer stem. Just taking the outside edges of those, of, of the stamp, you can create some lovely frames keeping it in theme, yeah? So I've been using some Kuretake Clean Colour Real Brush pens in yellow, pale green and mid green. So when I say pale green, it's that really, really, really pale green. I'm just adding colours to the wings. I don't want them to be too over the top, you know? Now using the yellow, I'm just doing around the edges of what looks like goose grass, some yellow circles or rather orbs. So just make some yellow orbs at the end of some of those. Add in a little bit of the very pale pink in the Kuretake brush range, brush pen range even, and mix it with the yellow so that you get this lovely, vibrant blossom effect. All it is, is working in the inner circle, yeah? Add a little bit of green to the stems reaching to those blossoms. The beauty of this is you don't have to be precise. You just go along the edges and give a hint of colour. And there's that darker green going down the main stem. When I say darker green, it is a mid-green. Now I'm adding some of that lovely mid-blue, almost teal-like, to those wings. Some pink, just a few little dots here, there and everywhere. So that we get a feeling of them being coloured. Now, using some Mondelez watercolour pencils, I've got a nice bright sunshine yellow and I'm adding a touch of colour to the side that would be hit by the light. If you imagine the light is coming from the centre of the card. OK, so I've got Elements Ink Mulberry here and I'm using a Series 3 stencil brush. I'm just blending up from the bottom around the edges to create a bit of a frame. Now you can see that the corners are always slightly sloped and that they go out into nothing as you get to the centre of, towards the centre of the page. Now with a fan brush, get some water on it, flick a couple of splats and lift them with some paper towel. Dry it off with a Ranger heat tool and then I'm using some Stickles Holly. Now it's up to you when you do this, you can do this right at the very end or you could do this now, like me. And I'm popping some on around the other bits, you know where I didn't put the orbs? Those little bits of stamp that just might need a bit of sparkle, because I think they're rather lovely. Okay, so again, going back to those watercolour pencils, just go around the outside of some of the blossoms, just to give them a more solid line. Just acts a bit like shadow, really. Fab. It's amazing what just little touches can do. Now I'm just adding my, my own orbs to give the idea of, you know when you look at a ray of sunshine and you can see things floating in it. My mother would say dust, but I say magic. <laughs> okay, this is the white orb stencil with some white fine pearl medium pan pastel and I'm just picking the occasional ones, here, there and everywhere, to add to that feeling of sunshine. If you don't go too large, but just give some lovely movement with them. Going back in with the watercolour pencils, I've chosen an orange just to go around the edges, the bottom edge of those orbs from the white orb stencil. It just makes them more visible. Or as my daughter would have said, more seeable. We don't want them to get lost, do we? 
fab. Add a little bit of water to them and it softens the line. There we go. If you think you need to add a little bit more yellow to it, then please do. Don't be afraid of colour. Add a little bit to your stencil brush and just add in the centre. Now we're going to add a whole load of words here. So I've got some inspirational words from sentiment stickers and I have chosen these. Cut them up, you know, you don't have to use these at all, but I'm when you look at those inspirational words, see if you can make what you want to say by cutting some of them up. It, it's not a, they're not meant to just be left the way they are. It's perfect if they do, if they fit what you want them to say, but you can mix and match is what I'm trying to say really. And create your own story on a card, which is rather lovely. And don't worry about straight lines. If you suddenly think, oh, I've gone off, it's not going straight, just make sure that the next one or the next couple that you do are really wonky. And then it looks like you meant to do it in the beginning. That's my plan and it works. So just take the very pale Kuretake pen and go under your inspirational words to just give them a bit of a pop. And then add, if you want a little bit of water to that, but it's not necessary. Stickles, goldenrod, touch of that bling to add to that golden ray of sunshine that we've just created. And with that, with the finishing touches of the bling, that's your card created. Yes indeedy, you did it. Well done!